Hey guys, it's Fear from the Fear Boxer channel, and again, I'm going to be dual commentating with none other than Box, and why don't you say hello, Box? Um, yeah, this is awkward. Hello, people. Why is it awkward, Box? I don't know. Just don't worry about it. Don't worry it's about it. It's called a joke, and you didn't go with it, but whatever. Alright then. Regardless, uh, that was kind of a bad opening. Regardless, we're going to still continue this match, and it will be game three between AKA, which I'm just going to start calling him now, and Blue Blocks. And again, AKA has randomly chosen another color, teal or light blue, which is going to make it really, really annoying to differentiate both players. And Blue Blocks, who's playing as Protoss, maybe as a random, just got Protoss again. Who knows? And the map is Andromeda, so you can spawn in the top left, top right, left, uh, bottom left, and bottom right. So, why don't we start the match soon, Box? Alright, we can start the match in three, two, one, zers. Alright. And, yeah, so, Box, uh, who do you think uh, you would put your bet on winning this matchup right now? Well, uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, uh, both games showed that, uh, you know, um, Blue Blocks uh, really did some nice uh, contain, you know, the uh, second game. And, uh, you know, the first game, um, there was more solid macro from uh, AKA. So, I mean, really, it could go either way. But, uh, you know, it'll just have to see. Um, this map, you know, very balanced, you know, four player map. And. Or FC, uh, what they do uh, since they're uh, both bottom positions. Oh, okay. I, I just say I, I would probably put my money on uh, AKA just because it, I, I feel like this map's more Terran favored. You have that entire like arch around your entire bridge for the high ground so you can get up tanks and turrets so you can just turtle really, really hard and then get a 200 200 army and then just A move. I just feel like that would be easier. And then you could also do Wraith Harass because you do get uh, air. And Corsair harass doesn't really work against Terran, but that's just me. I don't know. We'll just have to see if your prediction is correct. Um, you know, pretty standard game. Uh, pretty weird uh, pylon placement from Blue Blocks, but uh, you know, it's pylon placement nonetheless. Maybe he has something planned for it, or maybe he just doesn't like to wall off. Yeah, and I, by the looks of that gateway, I don't think it's gonna be walling off anytime soon. And I guess they just don't feel like they need to well off. And again, it looks like they're playing on easy mode, as Maverick would call it. Be uh, yeah, because there are the uh, those uh, mining rally points to the mineral line, and the probes are not just standing right in front of the mineral patch. So I'm guessing that they're gonna be probably on easy mode. And it looks like Blue Blocks is gonna go for a very very early gas, even getting the assimilator up right before the gateway even finishes. And it looks like he's even going to be fully saturating that, so it looks like he's going to be going some early tech play. And while the AKA is also going to get up some fairly early gas, not going to wait for the two racks, then gas, which I think is more standard. Uh, but, yeah, and he's also going to be fully saturating that, too. So they're both looking like they're going to be doing some tech play, so probably not no really, really early pushes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll just have to see. Maybe uh, I'm, I think the Terran player will probably go, uh, you know, early factory or uh, yeah, there's the early factory. Um, you know, for the protest, I'm not really sure. You can go uh, any opening. Um, he's probably might go Twilight uh, Council or uh, you know upgrades. You know, he can really do anything. Maybe a lot of dragoons. He is floating a lot of gas, so I'm not really sure what he's uh, thinking with uh, you know or planning how to spend all that. Yeah, no doubt, and that SCV is going to be scheduling that early gas, and does see that Cybernax Core is up, and he is going to get up a second gateway, so you might be right about that early Dragoon, because probably going to, yep, and there's a Dragoon coming out already. Looks like he might be trying to do the same pressure that he did last game, Blue Blocks being able to contain the Terran player. I have a feeling it might be a little harder, because... Terran would get the high ground, and if they just get up some early tank, they can pretty much deal with that just fine. And even getting up the machine shop, so most likely not early vulture harass, which I'm not sure if even exists. So who knows though? Yeah, um, Protoss is not able to get up uh, into the Terran's main. Um, he all he sees right now is uh, just a barracks and supply depot. 
Supply Depot, sorry, and he doesn't know that uh, some mech plays is going to come out from Terrence, so, uh, you know, maybe this Dragoon harass might not be as effective since uh, AK is uh, going early siege mode siege tanks, so I'll just have to see what uh, happens. I'm not sure if they, re I'm not sure if Blue Box realizes hardcore mode also means that you can't select, m you can't auto mine. Dirt. Well, they are in easy mode right now, so. Yeah, and apparently he, they were attacking his own guys. Apparently, and I don't know. <laughs> I Probably think. just a miss micro. Yeah. No, they didn't. <laughs> uh, they did not put on hardcore. Uh, yeah, well, uh, if you look at the protest, he's got what 400 gas right now. Um, lots of access gas. I'm not really sure what he's planning or how to spend this. He's also Maybe supply just, block too, just to note real quick. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not sure what he's really planning. If he's just gonna go for expansion or what, but he's really just, uh, you know. He's just high on gas and he's not really teching either, so I'm not really sure why he has so much, uh, like, just access gas just sitting there. Maybe he should have pulled uh, his probes out of gas, you know, put those in minerals, but looks like he's not changing it and maybe he'll do something with it. Yeah, and looks like he's going to be able to hold just fine for that early, I don't know, four Dragoon pressure. He's able to hold that just fine, he does have the siege tank support, so that will pretty much trounce. Any ground attack, at least. Uh, he might be a little bit prone to air at this point, but we'll see if he's going to even go with that. Or Reaver Drop. I'd like to see some Reaver Drop action. It'd be pretty awesome. And it looks like he's going to be taking his natural right about now. And it looks like the Terran player also seems like they're going to be doing that. I mean, that Rax is just kind of floating there. He might want to land it and put it, like, right here to wall off. I know Box, you do that sometimes. Um... And it looks like, yeah, has Dragoons in the center of both their bases, so uh, if they're going to be d moving out, he'll be able to see that coming and react accordingly. And he's also getting up a third factory and constantly producing tanks and vultures. I would, <laughs> I wonder if he would go Goliath too, but I don't see an armory up. I stand corrected. There's an armory coming up right now. And looking at the unit tab. It's seven dragoons to four vultures and four tanks for and three marines, and he's actually uh, the ter Terran player is actually head in worker supply twenty two to eighteen. Just interesting to note, and I'm not sure if Blue Blocks ever realized that there's this mineral expansion up here, but it doesn't even look like he needs it because he's fleeing on a lot of minerals and a lot of gas, and he's getting up a citadel of a dune. Maybe gonna mean some DT action or some Templar. One of the Archons, Templars, or whatever. And no, a Stargate's coming up too. Kind of off to the left too. And two Stargates, actually. Yeah, that, uh, you know, uh, worker difference, uh, definitely gonna, uh, you know, hurt, hurt the Protoss player since, uh, you know, behind in workers, behind in macro, behind in, you know, mostly everything in general, but. Um, looks like Terran players pushing out right now. Uh, maybe thinking of just uh, getting some map control, containing the Protoss, and expanding from there. Um, see plus one for uh, mechs, so you know we'll see what. Uh, yeah, I guess he's you know going full on mech, and also getting Spider Man. Definitely a good thing to contain some Protoss. Yeah, and does he have? No, he can't. He just put that uh, armory awkwardly, so he can't get a uh, comsat station on his main. So he's gonna have to force the comsat on down he on the natural two scan upward. I think. Nope, no, because once the dragoons attack, I'm sorry, will they will get viewing of the high ground? And it looks like vulture harass, I guess, does exist. And they're actually not too shabby against probes. No, they're not too bad for harass. Uh, kind of like the. Hellions, a little bit cheaper, have spider mines. I personally liked them better, but you know, everyone has their preferences. Yeah, it looks like a fleet beacon's almost done for uh, blue blocks. And carrier is coming up. So that's probably why he's saving up all that gas. <laughs> well, if you want to put it that way, yeah, I guess so, but I wouldn't say that. Uh, or he that's was really why. bad macro, and then he decided to go, I have a lot of gas, so I should make carriers. Maybe that too. 
I guess so. <laughs> um, looks like uh, Terran's doing the normal uh, tank, vulture, you know, the usual brood war mix. Um, the only thing he's lacking right now is uh, the turrets that you usually put next to tanks. Yeah. But um, these carriers might do a lot of damage. If microed correctly, of course. Well, there is no anti air from Terran right now. And oh, that's right. Yeah, no, never mind. Well, I don't know, man. He has three Marines, so, I mean, those could single handedly take out two, two uh, carriers, even though they take, like, an eternity to come out. No Chrono Boots for the Protoss. And he's going to end up losing that main, too. I mean, that, that natural, excuse me. At the same time, he's going to be expanding onto that third in the center of the. In the uh, left center of the map. So, and worker supply would, I believe, income is favoring the Terran. It is indeed. And worker, worker, that's worker killed. Worker supply is 34 to 16. So, Blue Blocks is really not keeping up with his uh, pro production. Not even opting to build a couple more at his main. He does have leftover resources. And it looks like he's finally going to start building up some some interceptors. 